What's going on, fam? We back on here with the Juke Man, and today we're gonna be going over the Jaguars versus the Giants preview. I will be pulling up to this game, so it's gonna be a special game. I need the Giants to escape with a W. All we've been catching is these W's lately, so big shout out to the Giants. Let's hope we stay on that. Um, I just want to shout you guys out real quick, man. Y'all been running up the Daniel Jones video. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and click down below. Watch that Daniel Jones video. I just be calling out all the haters. Some haters in the comments, but I see a lot of the Giants love. So big shout out to the Giants fandom, man. And uh, I would appreciate if you guys can like it up and comment down below and subscribe, man. Road to 100. We are almost there. I gained a couple subscribers from that last video. I appreciate y'all so much. If you ate some breakfast this morning, like this video up right here. Like it up. We're trying to get to 100 likes. I got 50 on that last video. Let's run it up to 100 this video. And let's dive straight into it. So as you know, if you watch my other previews, we got my what to watch for, and we're going to go from both teams. Coaching matchups, man. Doug Peterson, he used to be on the Eagles. We used to see him every week, every year, two weeks out of the year. And uh, Doug Peterson has a good record against us. You know, if we haven't beat the Eagles that often, we haven't beat a lot of teams that often. But I want to see what he can do for the Jaguars. Um, obviously a whole different team, a completely different team. But uh, let's see what Brian Dabo got against Doug Peterson. Who's going to outcoach who in terms of coaching, situational awareness. But I'm intrigued to see how that matchup is going to turn out. And then I got the Jaguars defense with Josh Allen being one of the fierce pass rushes in this league. And they stopped the rushing game and they also are just strong against the pass. They're overall surprising defense. I don't really know too many players on that team. Obviously, they got the number one pick in Javon Walker. They signed the dude out of Seattle, Shaquille Griffin. Um, they have a little bit of names on there, but they shocked me when they were able to hold the Chargers down. I know Justin Herbert was a little bit hurt, a little bit banged up, but that was that was just a whooping, bro. Like that Jaguars team just whooped them. So we definitely don't want to underestimate this team and what they can do. Um, obviously, we're going to have to try to still force feed Saquon, see if we can get that rushing game going just so we can set up that play action for Daniel Jones and leading into the next what to watch for, Daniel Jones versus Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence coming into the league, man, he was looking like one of the greatest college prospects coming out to be in the NFL since Andrew Luck. Um, so far, he hasn't really lived up to that yet, but he's starting to blossom this year for sure. Um, a lot of the games that he's having, you know, you see him spread the ball out everywhere. Um, he's not making too much mistakes, but against this Giants defense, let's see if he does make any mistakes. And Daniel Jones, man, he's been flawless up to this point. You know, obviously not throwing for 400 yards or anything, but playing clean, good football. Once again, if you haven't seen that video, Daniel Jones calling all the haters, pull it to that video. But Daniel Jones, he just needs to have a good outing this game away in the Jaguars home stadium. That's the biggest thing I'm asking for when it comes to Daniel Jones, and hopefully he's able to do that. Now next is my who to watch for, man. And one of my who to watch for is, is Aziz Ojalari. He's been out for a little bit of time now. Um, he had a calf injury in the preseason, and then he came into the season, played one or two games, and had a calf injury again. So Aziz, I want to see you stay on the field. That's the biggest thing. Let alone your impact on the field, I want you to stay on the field. So hopefully he's able to make an impact in this game. Obviously, Kayvon Tibbet on the other side. We're starting to get the defensive line back with Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams. We need you on the field too to have this top defensive line compared to other people's teams. So let's see if Aziz can stay on the field, man. Hopefully he's able to make a good impact. I'm looking to see if the Giants defense can turn up on these Jaguars, man. You know, they don't have the best offensive line in the world either. So let's see what they got cooking up for this game and of course Wandale Robinson he only played in about 20% of the snaps for last game and he still got a touchdown and a couple timely third down catches so I want to see what Wandale Robinson got for us in the store for this game obviously his role is going to expand as he continues to get back from that injury that he had you know all our receivers have some injuries and uh, with some dudes out like Kenny Galladay and Kadarius Tony, this is his time to feast and make it known how good of a player he is and uh, if he can separate himself and be one of the top targets for Daniel Jones, man, we've been looking for that for a little while. Someone outside of Richie James and a Daniel Bellinger. But so far, so good for Wandale. Let's see if he can keep that up heading into this Jaguars game. And last but not least, man, my road to victory. Of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Vanilla Vic, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, man, you need to come shock the world. Obviously, this everyone, this looks, looks like a trap game. This game has trap game written all over it. 5-1 New York Giants, 2-4 Jacksonville Jaguars. Somehow, someway, the Jacksonville Jaguars are favored by three. Ultimate sign of disrespect. Daniel Jones, come into the Jaguar Stadium. Come down to Jacksonville. Play a good, solid game of football. Don't turn the ball over. Use your legs. I want to see him just utilize the whole field and utilize all his talents, man. 
the world is gonna flip on this guy the narrative is already changing a little bit he just needs to continue playing the way he is and we'll be straight we'll be fine so i'm looking to see what daniel jones can do for this game and wink martindale up to this point man he's been game planning the heck out of every single game i was really excited to have him on the staff because i wanted him when we actually looking for a head coach when we ended up getting joe judge i actually was considering wink martindale i'm not upset about having coach dayball of course but having wink on the staff too just makes it even better he's been throwing a lot of the kitchen in the sink at every single quarterback every week he blitzed lamar jackson like 60 percent of the plays so i want to see what he has cooked up for um trevor lawrence a young quarterback of course you saw what he did against justin fields justin fields he was starting off good and he was starting to make some open reads but when it came down to it towards the end of the game justin fields cannot make any plays so i'm looking to see if wink martindale has something cooked up for trevor lawrence i want to see what exactly that will be and uh i got my faith in him of course so that is going to be my road to victory two of these guys need to have some big gains for us to escape with this w all right y'all so that is going to wrap it up for this video man if you guys didn't see in my last preview i did predict the final score and it was correct 24 to 20 in the preview i play that clip right here 24 to 20 man 24 to 20 we're able to put up more points than they can and uh, and it ended up being 24 to 20 so make sure y'all watching my previews man make sure you are hanging out out, man. I'm telling y'all, man, I'll be pulling up with some facts. So for this game, I have us escaping with the W. Whatever everybody says, now teams are 50-50 on us. You know, usually everyone picks against us. I don't care about none of that. Giants are going to get the W, of course. We're going to get our sixth win, going to be 6-1. and one, And the score is going to be 27-17, to 17, New York Giants W. Once again, I am pulling up to the game. I will be doing a little vlog. I'll be trying to see if I can see any people in the tailgating section. And uh, pulling up, I never pulled up to a Jacksonville Jaguars game. This is going to be my second New York Giants game. Uh, last year, I saw Mike Glennon. If you guys watch my other videos, I saw Mike Glennon look like trash. So I'm excited to see Daniel Jones on the field. Hopefully, Saquon's still on the field. I know he had a little shoulder injury, but he looks like he's good to go. I'm just looking to see the Giants escape with the W. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. I did pull up to a Bulls game, and we escaped with the W. So I'm going to keep that trend going. All the games I go to, we're going to get a lot of Ws. Once again, man, if you're a fan of the Bulls, the Yankees, the Giants, this is the place for you. And if you're just trying to watch my content, subscribe down below, man. Road to 100. We're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. Comment down below what y'all think. What's going to be the score prediction? Who's going to come out with the W in this game? And make sure you're liking up the video as well. We're trying to get this content out there. If you're trying to watch more of my videos, got more videos for you right here. Catch you guys on Sunday. Giants dub. Peace. Giants are undefeated, man. The Giants are undefeated. Clap it up. Clap it up. Yes, sir. When it comes to the most valuable player, most valuable player to the team, most valuable player on the best team, I think this team is in good hands. And if we are healthy, the whole East needs to be on the lookout.